I'm in the driveway today with the CB750 and I'm about to put some pipe wrap, header wrap, heat insulating. I got this type, which is the titanium one, which is not fiberglass. Um, you can research this, but I got this one, which is actually made from lava rock. Doesn't fade, uh, offers a little more protection, lasts a little longer. It, it does fray a little more easily, but you can deal with that. Um, that's why we have scissors. So the tools I'm using is just a tape measure to measure out about 15 feet because I'm just gonna wrap from here down to here. And I realize that this is not gonna provide the function that we typically associate with the wrap, which is to wrap your exhaust um, to down all the way down or down towards the back um, to help with the uh, heat to retain heat in your pipes so that it basically helps empty out your your cylinders and uh, can pull in more f oxygen and fuel I'm not so concerned with that we have plenty of power this is just cosmetic um, when I got the bike it had black wrap but the wrap got kind of oily, I think, because of oil changes. Were So this area was smoking a little bit, and I took off the wrap, and I noticed that the pipe, I don't know you can see it. Yeah, see, the pipe's kind of messed up here. So I'm just doing this for cosmetic reasons. Um, so I'm going to start by rotating this around so it's more underneath. And then I'm going to wrap from the back. You always want to go from the back towards the front uh, because you want the angle, the the edges kind of want the the uh, the wrap pointing back. In other words, you want to overlap this way here, and then the next one, and then the next one. Um, if you have your edges this way, they're going to catch debris and things. You know, that's just not the right way. So you just think aerodynamically. So. I'm just going from here to here, um, and that's also, you know, your kind of burn area <laughs> when you put your foot down. You don't want to have a hot pipe right there. I don't really mind the pipe the way it is. If it was, if it was in better shape, I'd probably just leave this. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it with the titanium wrap, and uh, again, starting from the back, working towards the front. I'm going to end just under there, right here because I'm not really doing this for functionality as much as just looks and, and for the heat, uh, to keep the heat away from my leg right there. Okay, so I've cleaned this. I moved this around to the inside so that looks a lot cleaner. Clean this off with some engine degreaser and lacquer thinner. Got this as clean as I can. Um, you don't have to use gloves when you're handling this as opposed to fiberglass you definitely want to use gloves with fiberglass we'll get this started and what i'm going to do is tuck this under and start on the inside and then i'll wrap it around i also took the um, support off of the pipe so i can i can just string it on the pipe i don't have to wrap it you know feed it through i can just kind of go from the end and feed it over the end of the pipe. If you can do that, I highly recommend that. It'll be a little bit easier, especially when you get into uh, tight spots like under here. One final aspect before you start putting this on, if you use this particular type, this titanium type, you notice that there's kind of an open end or a wide end and a tighter end or side. So this side, you know, is pretty tight. And this side has this flare on it, uh, just the way it was produced. So, you probably want to put this on the inside to be wrapped over. In other words, this would be your exposed edge, and this would be your covered edge. So I would start this way, and then successive wraps are going to cover, cover this end um, so that I don't have this big edge, right? So you're gonna, we're going to cover that side. So here's how I started the back. I started with a little bit of overlap over the seam uh, of the pipe and then what you want to do is do about a 50% overlap so that overall you're going to have a consistent thickness and then you'll have you know this this kind of gap overlap you can actually barely see it but um, pull it tight and just keep wrapping and keep it as tight as you can well not super tight but pretty tight.
All right, so pretty much done wrapping. And when you want to tighten these, you um, can grab it with some needle nose pliers like this. And then you're going to turn it, you're going to twist it. Just twist like this. Rotate. I'm not going to do it much because I already did it, but you're going to rotate. You're going to turn, and that's going to tighten. Um, it's going to tighten that up here. So you're going to turn it. You're going to turn with the pliers like this, and that, that'll roll and tighten these up and get them pretty tight. So here's what I have right now. I think it turned out pretty well, especially because back here I had to go over that bolt. There's the finished job. I think it looks good in the sunlight. Uh, so I'm happy with the way that turned out. Thanks for watching everyone. Safe riding.